Hey, Ecom Masters, welcome to the show. My name is Mike Weiss, Chief Community Officer at Dropified, and as a thank you for tuning in to the e-commerce mastery show, we've put together a special podcast-only e-commerce training just for you. Now, in it, you're going to learn the ins and outs of how to set up your own brand of products where you can literally put your own labels, brands, logos, and messaging over top of top selling, in demand, high quality, high profit products that are exclusive to supplements, CBD, skincare, and pet products. And here's the key no minimum order quantities, no upfront inventory costs. And I'm going to show you how to do this in literally minutes. Now, guys, we refine these principles over the course of five years with working with over a hundred thousand of our own e compreneur customers just like you so to get immediate 100 percent free access all you got to do is go to dropify.com forward slash podcast dash special or you can just click the link below and you're going to learn exactly how we do this in just minutes thank you so much for being part of the dropify family and enjoy the show Welcome, welcome, welcome to e-commerce mastery. Guys, I'm so excited today. I'm so excited today because I am talking to Luke W. Okay. Finally, someone whose name that I can't pronounce, uh, <laughs> Wexelberger, but it means that there's so much mystery to this man, and I cannot wait to dive into it. Uh, Luke W is the creator of Amazon Seller Pro Course and the Amazon FBA Experience. He was a skateboarder that turned to an Amazon FBA master. And now Luke is a top selling Amazon seller with a passion to teach others how to master this same craft. Luke, thank you so much for coming with on today. Matt, how are you doing? Mike, I'm doing excellent, my friend. I mean, I'm looking outside. I live in the Seattle, Washington area. It's a little gray, but things are really about to change. I know we <laughs> talked a little bit before this call. I'm really excited what you have for your audience and the platforms you've been working with, but I'm really excited to kind of break down what I've been doing here with Amazon FBA, private label, all that good stuff, because I'm actually built up such a foundation that I'm going to be moving over to Miami, actually, come on, uh, right after Christmas. So I'm going to start <laughs> the new year over there, man, and get out of the rain and just kind of be that digital nomad and live life, man. So life's good. Now, congratulations. That's really, really something good for you. Um, I do want to dive in because there's a lot of great stuff that we're going to talk about today. Um, a lot of listeners do not know. I mean, they know Amazon exists because they shop on it and especially for gifts and things like that. But um, they're a little bit nervous to kind of jump into it. And so what I'd love to do uh, is let's let's do a couple. Um, let's, let's talk about the breakdown of what we're going to cover today. Um, so first, we're going to actually hear more of your story, Luke, and I want to find out how you came to find the success that you have on Amazon, as well as what other ventures that you're currently working on right now. How can you get down to Miami from Seattle? What is going on? <laughs> After that, I want to talk about what it means to sell on Amazon, and I want, to, I want to, you to give our audience, uh, sorry, that was really aggressive. It would be great if you could give our audience a super powerful strategy uh, for tools like Dropified or um, you know, print on a man or just ultimately any creative avenues um, to help people actually explode on Amazon, especially the folks that don't really know how to do it. Um, you know, what, uh, what are some powerful strategies that they can use um, when they're thinking about coming in? Finally, we are going to give everyone who is listening the number one secret for ranking on the front page for your category. And we're actually going to give away some pretty cool bonus gifts, um, which is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, after that, we're going to wrap up. But does that sound all good, Luke? It sounds great to me and I'm ready to kick it off with kind of the whole background, man. Like Let's if you, it, buddy. if you want to hear, honestly, I, it, it happened to do with my skateboard scene. We got boards. All <laughs> nice. you, can see, you can see how dark my room is. It's a sad yeah. day out here in Seattle, but honestly, <laughs> it was a so-called sad day when I actually broke my leg skateboarding. And that's what was, you know, break a leg is what they say for, you know, good luck on this or whatever. But I actually broke my leg skateboarding, just doing a crazy trick. I've been skating for about 17 years of my life. And that broken leg led me to take two, three months off of my job, which I was just a server working double shifts mm -hmm. at a pretty nice restaurant, you know, pulling some decent money, but I was building someone else's legacy. I was building the brand of Joey. 
you may know those yeah. restaurants up there in Canada. So I worked Joey's at restaurants. Joey's restaurants. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was a Joey's server. I actually was a bartender there too, which is hilarious. But wow, that's crazy. Bar world. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So after taking a couple months off, I actually saw an ad for Ty Lopez's social media oh, marketing yeah. agency <laughs> way back. And I started watching some YouTube videos on it. And I was like, wow, I sat in bed with that broken leg, just listening to every word and was like, I need to make money. I don't want to go build someone else's business and corporation. I want to just get a nice chunk of my pie and mm -hmm. build it myself with me in 100% control. So after doing some social media marketing and learning from that and getting fully inspired by just jumping into different YouTube videos, seeing all these new entrepreneurs taken off at the same time as me, uh, there was actually someone who introduced the FBA business model, which I'm not sure if a lot of people remember this guy, but Tanner J. Fox. He was, <laughs> I know Tanner. You remember yeah. that, you yeah, remember yeah. that guy? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he was kind of a, a funny guy and everything. He had his Amazon course, not really professionally put together or anything, but he just <laughs> he got pretty so rocky. Many, yeah. I got, <laughs> I got, I was just so hyped. I already had watched all the videos I needed to on YouTube to figure everything out. And by the time I took his course, it was just like, I'm going to put my skin in the game, put some money down get the step-by-step -step program, jump into this journey. And from there, I realized, you know, social media marketing was still something where I'm going to go build someone else's brand, you know, and build their company up. And I'm just the guy doing that, the ads and building their Instagram. But how can I build my own Instagram? How can I build my own brands? So that's when Amazon FBA came into place. I was like, wait, I can create a product, you know, on the back of everything out here, it says made in China. Mm -hmm. It's basically me finding some type of product and then yeah. shipping it in Amazon, then customers buy it and my products in Amazon. So Amazon's going to ship it out from their warehouses. And I was like, wow, I can literally make money from home with my broken leg and not even have to show up to my clients for the social media marketing thing. So that's what really sparked that off for me. And that's been about three and a half, four years ago since I've started. Wow. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy. I mean, there's more I could jump, jump into. Literally got my dad involved with this. He's a full-time chiropractor for the past 40 years and like had a robotic system. And him and I had kind of drifted off when I was a kid. We were always playing baseball in the neighborhood with everyone. And But he just got into this zone where he was just working so hard and repetition, repetition, this routine that he couldn't get out of. And I, he didn't want to see me making, Hey dad, look at my numbers, 30 K a month, 40 K a month on Amazon. He just said, no, that's, that's not even real. And then a couple winters ago, we had a big snowstorm. We got into, he, he just realized like, I need to do this. I need to take mm -hmm. your course, Luke. So it was, it was a crazy feeling to you charge him double. <laughs> I can't believe the feeling of like, having your dad who mm. was discouraging you kind of thing to end up switching over and just like having that humble attitude of like my dad's actually learning from me now and he's he's gone on to have multiple successful products even competitive ones like fitness tracker watches and wow things like that man so he's that's been a that's a that's a saturated market man <laughs> and for to be successful you got to know what you're doing with that for sure yeah, he just went above and beyond with his listing optimization, all these other things, product photos, bundles, things like we're going to touch mm. on in a minute here. So um, that's kind of the, the introduction on the background. It was funny. I met my girlfriend at Joey's and now she, her and I got together at the same time that I started the Amazon journey. So it's just been a whole life flip right after I graduated college. You can see in the in the shadows here, the diploma in the corner, but it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm sticking it out with building my own business. Like Robert yeah. Kiyosaki said, he had all these credentials, all this and that, but he didn't mind sleeping in his car yeah. until he found a way to make his own money. So that's, that's where I'll be if I have to do that, but I don't think it'll come to that. <laughs> you know, I, that, no, man, I appreciate that. That's, um, and, and, and actually let me ask you just as a totally off thing, what was the trick you tried doing when you broke your leg? Okay. So, you know, there's like half pipes, a big, yeah type of thing so it's basically one of those and it was a bowl so it's kind of circular right. and I'm going up to grind it just a normal grind where actually mm -hmm. I don't have my tech deck with me but sure. <laughs> grinding on my back two wheels and the bull's like 14 feet tall so wow. I'm grinding it 
I just slip out a little bit, like which will normally happen sometimes. But I, when I kicked out of my board, I accidentally, one of my feet landed back on the board. No. Oh. Kind of just like do some weird half splits type of thing. And I yeah. just popped my fibula right, right near my ankle. I healed up, didn't need surgery. Doctors told me I needed surgery. Mm -hmm. I said, no, nah, I, don't, I don't think so. I got a second opinion from another person. They said, no, I wouldn't do that if you were my kid. I ended up healing up, you know, two months later, like I said, fully back to normal skating, ripping the parks every day. We're, we're still Holy. <laughs> I think that I think the the extent that I have not to pull you from your story, but the extent that I had with skateboarding is my brother made me pull him on his skateboard while I was biking to and from the skate park. So, I mean, same story, man. Same thing. You know, it's uh, right. We're like, uh, <laughs> wow, <laughs> anyway. that's crazy. right. I know sometimes I go up jumps, curves. Um, so anyway, uh, let me ask you. So but prior to Amazon, had you sold online before? Hadn't even gotten into eBay or did mm. nothing like it. Nothing like it. It was just straight college. I was going to go do broadcast news journalism. I realized that field is just highly crazy right now. So I'm happy I you know, went down the path of creating YouTube videos. I mm -hmm. still use what I learned in school to make videos, edit things. And I've since put out over 400 videos strictly on Amazon FBA, some cryptocurrency stuff back sure. in 2017 when it was really hitting that peak and stuff, but it's getting back up there now for all I, for what I've been seeing, but you know, just consistent videos, putting them out there, not being afraid to just jump into new things. And that's what's kind of led me to this point now. Not not thinking I know everything, not taking a college degree, even though it's right. only communications, it's not even that big of a deal or whatever, but right. acting like I'm all the know-it-all. No, I want to act like I don't know anything and I go into new things with a complete open mind. And that's how we're jumping on this call right now too. Love it. That's a great attitude, man. Uh, one more thing before we move on to kind of the meat of it. What was the biggest learning curve uh, when you got started selling with FBA? And, and it, maybe it's not with selling, it could be in the research, but what was the biggest learning curve from the point where you're like, hey, this is something I could do to you doing it? Yeah, in the beginning, it wasn't so much about the money. You know, some people will say, I need five grand to start up. But honestly, mm -hmm. I spent $500 on a course and then I spent 500 for my first product order of 100 units. So mm -hmm. money wasn't the biggest thing. I mean, product research in the beginning, it's hard for everyone and people tend to overthink things so much. You know, I have some, I have over 320 students right now hmm. and people will just overthink things and realize, you know, you just got to look at what's on that first page. And if you can create a better offer than that, then you're going to be standing out. If you try and replicate the same items, you might use your Helium 10 Chrome extension. Maybe sure. if you understand what that is, it shows you how many sales a month each product makes. I love the Amazon FBA business model because you can see it's so data driven. You see what profit you're going to make per sale. You talk to your suppliers, you get, you know, all the money that you need up front and the profit you're going to make after. But if you're not making something that's going to differentiate yourself, then you're going to have to compete on the price or mm -hmm. having more reviews than someone, which is hard when you're just starting. So it becomes a price war. And that's why I, you know, I only had one product that was too saturated for me and I ended up having to ship some units home, but that was only a, the product cost me two bucks each. So it wasn't even that big of a loss or anything. And I ended up selling them. There were garden gloves with claws. Yeah. And I, I went to garden stores in the spring and yeah. sold out of my 150 units to different garden stores mm. and just being creative that way. Um, yeah. I mean, just figuring out what product to go with because there's so many opportunities out there and people will see one. Yeah. That's what you got to write down just all the opportunities on a notepad and then sleep on them and then come okay. back to them the next day and figure out what bundle you want to create to stand out on the first page from there. Totally. You should be good. Totally. Well, and man, I love it. And this actually blends really nicely into this next kind of uh, line of questioning, which really is around how the heck do you even like, what, what does it mean to get started with Amazon and why don't people, why don't more people do it? Um, and, uh, and so, so what I'd be interested in is, can you walk us through the basic steps that it takes for someone to actually start selling on Amazon? And, and, and again, I'm not talking about the 95 step, you know, thing. Uh, it's, it's just generally, what is it that people need to do? Um, and I'm thinking about my listeners that are you know what, they have maybe products, but they don't know if they're going to sell well on Amazon. So what, 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 are this, what are the basic steps that someone needs to take before, you know, think about selling on Amazon? 
So instead of 95 steps, I'll just break it down into like six. So sure. really you just have to get your Amazon account and business kind of set up. I cover a lot of this in my program, a lot of this in my YouTube videos, just being organized, you know, having a separate email account for your business, Amazon business, having different little tabs where when you make orders, you can drag them to the tabs, just staying organized, getting your account set up uh, is difficult for some people right now, uh, just because you have to provide certain verifications and this and that people can get frustrated there. That's just a hang up in itself for some people. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I, I, I'm not going to do this, but if you can simply get your account set up, uh, which is not too hard. It's just, you know, a different beast when you're dealing with Amazon, as you know, Mike, it's just, you might think it's going to be all easy and simple. And then something random pops up and gets in your way. You just have to learn to overcome obstacles. And if you can be an effective problem solver and not get frustrated and have patience, you're going to win at the end of the day. So mm. if you simply get your account set up, then it's just going to be jumping into kind of setting up, uh, figuring out what products you need to sell. So there's different product research methods, uh, a vast majority of them. I use the Helium 10 tool, which I can it's a good put tool. In. It's a good tool. I just put in different filters for products. You can even search by keywords. So I want to find find a product making between 10,000 and 30,000 searches a month. It's not, it's kind of reverse engineering. It's not mm -hmm. looking for products. It's looking for keywords that already have the search volume. So maybe you find a keyword with good search volume. You click into that market and you're like, oh, well, this is a, a variety of different things here. What can I do to combine, create a good bundle? Helium 10 also for free with their Chrome extension has that uh, fee calculator. So yeah. you can see what the Amazon fees are going to be. After you find like uh, a good product market to jump into, it's just going to be jumping into suppliers, which is pretty much step three. Right. And then, you know, negotiating message five to 10 suppliers. For those of you that don't know, you simply just go over to alibaba.com mm -hmm. and literally, you know, find uh, suppliers that'll sell the same products that are selling on Amazon for maybe 30 bucks, 40 bucks on Amazon. You can get it for eight bucks from your supplier and mm. then factor in the shipping, take that total cost of the product and the shipping cost into the fee calculator on Amazon and see what you're left over with profit after you see what, uh, it can sell for on Amazon. Um, after that, you're like, all right, let's place this order. And then you, you're going to have to create a listing first on Amazon. I recommend get a listing made on Amazon, make sure there's no weird restrictions, you know, don't buy a product and then realize that <laughs> it's restricted or something on Amazon. Yeah. So, uh, avoiding little steps like that, um, can save you a lot of money. Um, investing in information up front can really save mm -hmm. you a lot uh, down, down the road there with all the little landmines and things that might pop up, which are easy for me to oversee now, but as a new person, it's kind of hard to, uh, meander through those. So, yeah. Can I, can I ask a question? So, I mean, that's all, I love that. And that's brilliant. And I think a couple of things that stood out to me when you were talking about that is being organized, like this isn't, I mean, there, there is definitely steps to follow to doing this, but you can't get frustrated if a step takes longer than you thought it was, because I mean, it's, it just happens that way. Sometimes it's super fast, but sometimes it's just not. And like, you're talking about like getting, for example, like getting ungated for a category, right. Or, um, you know, dealing with, I mean, one of the ones that, that I've dealt with in the past is I had no idea that Chinese new year was like a month long. <laughs> so, so when you're trying to figure out like, Hey, where are my manufacturers at in Alibaba? And if it's spe specifically for the ones that are in China, I was like, shoot, like, <laughs> I, I, I guess I, ha I wasn't planning on that. Right. And so you just can't get frustrated with stuff like that um, because you just learn from it and you move on. A second thing I wanted to ask you though, is around advertising. There's a huge buzz right now, uh, especially in 2020 with their just advertising costs shooting through the roof because there's so much more going on to, you know, Facebook, Google, um, you know, native traffic ads. So how is Amazon different and how do, how can people, what can they expect when they are talking about things like Amazon's advertising and, and what is the, what does that look like for people that, because I know it's a big, scary thing, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, with, with Amazon ads for me, I just really simplify the, the process. There's so many different campaigns you can set up, whether you want to do product targeting campaigns where you just find and just choose to advertise your product with maybe really good reviews, a better bundle, a lower price. You can choose products with bad reviews mm -hmm. or that are overpriced and just 
list your product right beneath theirs on Amazon and people mm. will click into theirs maybe and see yours and it's way better offer. So they buy it there. Um, that's product targeting. There's automatic campaigns, which is going to take all the good keywords you spent time to create your listing with and then use what's in your metadata on your listing there to just kind of put out your ad for a bunch of those keywords that correlate with your listing. Mm -hmm. I usually just run an automatic campaign with uh, a manual campaign and a product targeting campaign. So I have three little campaigns going for my products. The automatic campaign, it's literally as simple as putting in how much you want to pay per day on a daily budget and then how much you want to pay mm -hmm. per click. That's why it's pay per click. Every time someone clicks on your sponsored ad, it might cost you 35 cents. It might cost you a dollar, whatever ad rate or pay-per-click budget you're putting in there for each bid. Um, and then with manual campaigns, you're just targeting certain keywords. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to use, there's broad, there's phrase, and there's exact match type keywords. Uh, and I, I usually just do phrase match and I whittle it down to my exact match after I've proven that my other broader keywords are making a bunch of sales. So, mm. I mean, phrase is going to allow me to show up for uh, not, not too exact. Like if you are going for exact, you have to liter have a customer literally type in the exact word or phrase that you want it to show up as. And that's going to, you know, maybe not have you show up for as many keywords as a phrase match, which is going to allow you to show up for maybe you're typing in, you know, gas mask or hazmat right. suit or something. And then it could be hazmat suit for boys or for kids. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, that that's a dystopian type product. <laughs> <I was> gonna <laughs> say, <laughs> you know what? I got to see what that ranks for right now. That might be interesting. 30,000. 30, Let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, who knows, but so if you just have the word hazmat suit, maybe there's words before or after it that are going to be able to still have you show up for if your ads running for a phrase campaign. And I mean, my, my ads usually, I whittle them down to literally like four or five keywords that are making all the money. Hmm. Uh, I spend very little to make quite a bit. Um, I do it for now clients now that have bigger businesses that think Amazon's super complicated yeah. and they have me take care of their ads and then I just help them out and they pay me revenue from their uh, percentages. And it's pretty crazy, but honestly, I don't think Amazon ads are that hard or that crazy. It's just if you, a big, a big tip I can give you guys that might blow your minds is just Amazon will have a suggested bid that will, they'll say, oh, oh, for kids hazmat suit, your suggested bid, you should bid around a dollar and 33 cents per click on this keyword. Even when those bids are so high, I start lower and actually come in at like a 12 cent bid. I'm like, okay, I know your suggested bids way high. Maybe you just want to make more money. And a lot of people follow those high bids when in reality, they could be doing a 30 cent bid mm -hmm. and it's still getting them a ton of clicks. So I've noticed that even with high bids or suggestions, I just do really low bids and I'm still able to get a crap ton of clicks. I'm spending way less money. And, you know, it's not always about just having your ad pop up on the first page, on the top of the first page. There's so many other places your ad can show up on, uh, like on other people's listings yeah. or just all over the place. And with those lower bids, that's what you're kind of going for instead of paying the top dollar for being on the top of page one on what you think is the most popular keyword. That's going to lead you to spend a lot of money. And I have a lot of people that come to me and show me, Hey, we've spent 500 bucks on ads and made $500 in sales. I'm like, yeah. that's, that's a hundred percent average cost of sales there. That's not good. My yeah. average cost of sales, they call it the ACOS is hovering around. It's, it's 6% this year. So wow, good for you only 6%. And that's just a really small amount there. And I just use ads to help me boost my product up so I can get organic sales. Yeah. I want to get organic sales mostly. So I'm spending the least amount of money. I'll spend more money up front on ads just to rank for those good keywords. And once I'm on page one organically for those good keywords, I'll keep my ads running and I'll expand out to other keywords I want to pop up on page one for. But I mean, I just keep it pretty simple and it comes down to making the good product bundle. Cause if yeah. you don't have a good product or something that stands out, you can spend all the money in the world and no one's going to buy it. You got to have totally. it fairly priced and all those other things. Totally. Oh man, that's such good stuff. And you know what? 
for for the i would say for the novice um they you gotta like pause this right now for the novice listener that's on amazon do you understand kind of like the difference between that versus like facebook and google and the rest of it um you you gotta like literally just pause this rewind (laughs) to when luke just started talking and literally take notes because there was so much gold there i have taken so many amazon courses um you know when i first got started five or six years ago and uh and man like i cannot tell you how much time and money it took for me just to get exactly what luke just said right now which i know he's like crap no but i <laughs> no, but it's good it's amazing value and i really appreciate it man for the for the beginners though for those that are just like listen what did you just say i just if do you mind luke if i just kind of i'm not summarizing what you said but just kind of maybe a nice introduction to what you said before they pause it and go back and rewind is Amazon, don't think about Amazon the same way that you think about Facebook or the same way that you think about Google or the same way that you think about native, okay? And like native native ads uh, or influencers, right? It's so different. Why? Is because Amazon is its own ecosystem, okay? It means that people that you're advertising to, similar to maybe what you would see in Facebook with like prone to purchase or 90 day buys or whatever, these are all people that are, actually on amazon to buy not to not to do anything else except to buy there is no content there's no like i mean unless someone just really likes looking at reviews i don't know but it's like they don't come on there to to read or to watch videos or to whatever they come on there to buy so when you are paying for these amazon ads or these ppc campaigns which is pay-per-click um just like, just like Luke said, what you're doing is it's, it's just, it's a different strategy because you're saying, listen, people are searching. Uh, I, actually, I can't remember what it was uh, the other day. I, I saw the number, but it was just an obscene number of Amazon searches, uh, especially in Q4 uh, versus the rest of the year. It's just an, an insane number. But when people are searching, what you're trying to do is you're trying to say, whenever someone types in this you know, phrase or this kind of word or this sequence, And it could be glove, you know, for all I care, you know, it could be gloves with claws, it could be whatever you you there's literally like, like hundreds of millions of variations of these keywords um, that are out there and Amazon's not trying to steal your money and say, Oh, you got the wrong advert, you know, the wrong variation, they're trying to help you um, actually get by showing you this is what people likely do search. Now, what they're not going to do is say, hey, you should pay for this keyword, because man, you're going to make a lot of money, because there's still a business, right. And there's lots of other people that are going to be trying to outbid you for those keywords. Now, when we talk about bids, it means that when you're putting money into these campaigns, again, different than Facebook, is you are trying to hunt and get through, not to be the front of everyone's attention all the time, because you're going to spend a lot of money doing that. Instead, you're going to say, just for the people that are in this category, or just for the people that are looking for this type of product, or just for people that um, typically they look for this product, but I kind of want to come in and disrupt it with my super creative bundle or my super creative, um, you know, listing or my product. Um, I'm going to just make sure that I'm on that billboard and think of it like you're a billboard on the street that people are driving down whenever they type those keywords. But then Luke just had something super huge is all of that is for nothing. If your listing sucks, right? If you have a crappy billboard picture, like, you know, come in at Dos Tacos, you know, it's like, that's, uh, and it's, and it's all painted on. Well, I mean, actually there's something disruptive about that, which is hilarious. But if you have a crappy billboard, no one's going to, you spent all that time and money and effort to get to the right place, but with the wrong message, like with the wrong thing. So, um, so what Luke does in his courses and in his program and on his YouTube videos is he teaches you how to actually not just learn about where to place that billboard, but kind of what it needs to say so that you can at least have people click in and then what the quality of your listing should be um, so that people can say, holy smokes, this is a pretty decent quality because you only have a few seconds to actually capture people's attention once they get in and you paid for them to get in there. So you better freaking make sure that if they, if, if you spend so much money to invite them to the party, that they're going to enjoy it when they're there. I don't know, Luke, am I, I don't want to oversimplify it, but just as an introduction, is that, is that no. fair? Yeah, yeah, that makes total sense. And the other thing I wanted to pick up on and just finish off what you said was about the whole Facebook ad, Google ads different than Amazon. And it's as simple as the fact that you can figure, yeah, people are on Facebook scrolling and scrolling to see what their friends are doing and things like that. They're completely not there to shop, like as opposed to if they're on Amazon. And that's why, you know, certain models 
uh, might, you know, if you're advertising there on Facebook, you better, I mean, people spend so much extra money on the regular drop ship model and they spend so much money on ads and it's just not where you want to be at. But that's kind of where, you know, Mike came and let me know about what Dropified is. And I was just like, holy crap, man, like you're able to use the drop ship model with high quality products, but still have the, mm. the user base and the customer base right on Amazon. And that was a no brainer to me right there. But I mean, that's why I never got into drop shipping was just because I figured I'd have to create a website and drive all this, all my own traffic to this website. And by the end of the day, my profit's going to be minuscule because, you know, people aren't just shopping on Facebook all day and things like that, where I would have to advertise because my product's not there on Amazon. So mm -hmm. that was crazy when you brought this up to me today. And I'm, I'm super excited about what all you have to <laughs> offer. But now I'm more excited because I have the foundation built on my high ticket yeah. private label product brands. And that's all in the bag for me. And now I can go build drop ship type products that are quality based um, on kind of what your platform is going to be offering for me. And it's all going to be on Amazon where, you know, the trillion dollar company, you, you can't yep. deny that e-commerce is blowing things out of proportion worldwide with, you know, the opportunity for you to build a brand here in the U S and then go ship that same inventory to other countries around the world. I mean, Amazon's opening up all their FBA warehouses in Australia, Japan, all over guys. So huge opportunities for the e-commerce scene right now. Um, but yeah, on, on the other note, just about listing quality and it's just, you can find niches of Amazon products that everyone's listing sucks. Like everyone has like one or two images and mm -hmm. hardly any reviews. And you know that that's a really low competition type market. Now, if you run helium 10 and it shows you how many sales a month, these guys are making, maybe you found uh, a little gold nugget niche here that everyone's making a crap ton of sales, a crap ton of revenue. Mm -hmm. Their reviews are all low. You know, the listing quality of everyone's not good, or maybe they are good, but no one's doing a bundle. And if yeah. everything looks identically the same, you can easily go to Alibaba, find that same product. Just take a minute now, pause the video, go to Alibaba, type in yeah. something that you were planning <laughs> to buy for your, your friends or your, yeah. your wife's Christmas present or something. And literally you'll see that exact thing on Amazon over at Alibaba for like one fifth of the price or something. Yeah. And that's what we're doing. We're putting our own brand. It's brand fragmentation. This is why big box stores, Nordstrom, all these places are going out of business because there's the same quality of product, but with a different name on it, that's mm -hmm. literally one third the price that what is selling in Nordstrom's or something like that. You know? Hi there, Ecom Masters. Mike Weiss here again with a friendly reminder that you've unlocked access to our exclusive podcast only training on how to create your own supplement, CBD, pet, or skincare brand in just minutes, where we're gonna break down from A to Z exactly how to put your own design on top selling products and start selling in just minutes. It's incredible. Now the principles that you're gonna learn are exactly the same principles that we've used with our customers who did over $2 billion. That's right, with a B, $2 billion in sales last year alone. You cannot afford not to take me up on this free training. So to get immediate 100% complimentary access, all you gotta do is go to dropify.com forward slash podcast dash special, or you can just click the link below in the show notes. I will see you soon. Well, and let me ask you then, so for those Amazon sellers that you work with, or again, you're in the, you're in the world every single day, um, you know, for those Amazon sellers that are struggling to get maybe enough private label products in for things like Q4, I mean, like there's so many limitations now that, that again, people are faced with that I wasn't faced with, you know, three or four years ago when I got started or even a year ago, like it's just, it's different and it's evolving. And, and so for those Amazon sellers that are struggling to get enough private label products in for the Black Friday, Cyber Monday or Q4, or even to, you know, <laughs> think about Q1 or Q2 launches for seasonal, um, you know, what strategy would you give them to add quality private label products? Um, you know, it's great to go to Alibaba, but again, they have to think about am I going to get that in, in Amazon in time? And we're what, two weeks out from Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So, so what do you do? Right. I mean, at that point, you know, you're, it takes time. The whole model I'm doing, it takes time for manufacturers to make the product and, yeah. and ship it into Amazon. Now, one tip I can give you guys is instead of 
you know, air shipping is going to be more expensive than sea shipping, but you can do the best of both worlds by shipping 20% of your order in by air. You can do DHL air shipping. It's in, in four to seven days or something like that. You'll pay a little bit of a premium for that, but guess what? Maybe you only order a hundred units to start yeah. or there's a limit right now that you can only ship in 200 units max for any new product that you're listing on Amazon due to limited, you know, working capacity and fulfillment warehouses right now because of COVID or something. So if you're shipping in 20 units by air, that's what you can use to start your launch. You can have mm. a few, I, I recommend maybe like if you have not direct friends, but friends of friends so that there's no cross mingling with Amazon, seeing that you're in a relationship with somebody because they can, you know, not allow those people to leave reviews on your product. There's there's some red flags that will pop up there. But if you have friends of friends or something like that, buy your product from your keyword that you want to rank for to show you up on page one for. You can do that with your first, you know, 10, 15 units. You'll get 10, 15 reviews. You will then be just about sold out of those. And then your C shipment will come in and fill up the rest of your inventory right as you were about to sell out of that. And you didn't spend all your money on air shipping to get everything in at once, which you didn't need. Um, but honestly, yeah, the, my model, it takes a little bit of time. If you're thinking, you know, maybe a week or two to get it made and a week, one week air shipping or, you know, three weeks to C ship it, you're looking at, you know, a little over a month maybe to get your full product in, ordered, shipped into Amazon, something like that. But if you're using this model along with something like Dropify, if you're really trying to get something in there ASAP, then, I mean, you guys have suppliers based here in the US, your manufacturers, it can get shipped out right into Amazon. You can create a new product and have it in, in there within like a couple of days. So yeah. that's why I, I have my, my, my big foundation built, which is private label, which is reoccurring passive income for my products, literally for the same products I've been selling for years. That's a big question I get all the time. People are like, how often do you need to switch products and stuff? Yeah. I've been selling the same products for a long, long time. And I spend very, very little mm. time on those products because they already have 90 something reviews, 150 reviews. They're doing great. They're ranked up. They're, they're taking care of full automation type of thing there. Um, now, when I start new products, it's maybe one week to find a new good product, one week to find a good supplier, and then I place the order. And then within you know a month, then that thing is shipped into Amazon. So that's kind of the process for me there. But I mean, if you're trying to streamline something in before uh, Christmas, you know, I mean, Christmas is still a month and ten days away right now. So honestly you have to think about getting your product in and then ranking it, you know, mm -hmm. even if you get it in before Christmas day, but it's your, your listing just went active, you know, you still need to rank it up. So it would be too late in that case, but there's always, you know, Amazon's just, you're going to see the traffic and it's there all year round. Anyway, yeah. you, you're going to see a bigger spike in Q4 for sales and things like that. And it may not even affect you if you're doing a different type of product. That's not, you know, a giftable item. So sure. Um, there's evergreen products that are just going to sell all year round for you. There's giftable ones, there's seasonal ones. You can have a variety of different products that you have. Like I have a Teddy Rose bear type product, um, that I, <laughs> and I sell that just around Valentine's day and yeah. it just pulls an extra, you know, 15, 20,000 a month in profit on these items that I, I have in there because they're just buying the crap out mm -hmm. of it. And I simply created a different color type bear that stood out on the page. And it was that simple. I had three reviews and it just exploded. So unbelievable. I love that. <laughs> and so, you know, it's funny because when you say that, I mean, again, for all those uh, listeners that, um, that know Dropify's private label on demand plan, because, you know, you're using it. I mean, this, this should just be burning your ears like crazy right now, because really even that, that last example, just picked a color that was a bit different <laughs> and that was it. That's all it took. Right. And so the ability to throw something, even like a male enhancement and woman libido, you know, thing for Valentine's day. And even if that's just a one month thing, and then you can rip it down because you didn't have to worry about upfront inventory costs. You'd have to worry about it shipping into Amazon. Cause it's all, uh, it's all fulfilled outside of Amazon, you know, so FBM or, um, you know, through, through, uh, through our own channels where the client can get it into one to three business days, right? Um, it's, it's just powerful. And, and, and when you're talking about differentiating yourself, 
that's the name of it, right? Because you don't want to be the guy that's selling right next to the guy and, and your products look exactly the same. He has 10,000 reviews and you have one and you're paying like for the sponsored slot right next to him. Like, it's just that, I mean, there's no way that you're going to win. And so the question is, is not only how do you differentiate yourself, what you teach in your course, which is amazing in your program, but also what tools can you do where you can actually test what's going to work and what's not going to work. And this is where it's really beautiful, where Dropify comes in specifically on the consumable side with, you know, supplements or pet supplements or skin cream, um, you know, products. And uh, anyway, it's, it's, it's really quite something how, uh, how disruptive I think this is going to start getting, um, you know, especially when when you're starting to see a lot more brands come out and people are going to say, where the heck did these guys come from? And well, it's because they came from Luke's course, but they're using Dropified and this is pretty cool. So that's, um, that's, that's combining the two big formulas all in one right there. But, <laughs> that's right. I, I mean, it's great because Amazon has so many different little data points that you can look out for. Like just scroll beneath a listing halfway down. It will say yeah. frequently bought together yeah. with your product or on, on a competitor's product. It shows you what items people are buying. Like, there's shower curtains. Okay. I, I use this example in my course a lot. And I, in my course, I literally have multiple examples of even mm. products, just like what you do in your Dropified mini yeah. course. It's like you give your real examples. I give real product examples that I do like party decoration kits or shower curtain mm. kits. And, you know, there's party decoration items that, okay, it's just the plates, cups, napkins, tablecloth, balloons, but then you see, okay, these cool little masks are selling for 15 bucks on their own and they're making a bunch of sales on their own. This photo backdrops make it a bunch of sales on its own. And the frequently bought together section saying that people are buying these other items in addition to that other bundle that's already made. Well, I combine all these awesome items into a bundle that would normally sell for <laughs> 75 bucks. I overpriced mine. Everyone else yeah. is selling at 30 bucks. I'm at like, 45 making 25 bucks profit per sale on those. And it's just, everyone wants to buy it because they're seeing the value. It's like, Hey, I could buy these things separately or it's, I could get it here for like save 30 bucks on it. And same with the shower curtains frequently mm -hmm. bought together. Any niche, you can look at elephant shower curtain and then frequently bought together is the plastic little liner that goes behind the curtain. So the curtain doesn't get wet. And that's an item that you would want to bundle along with the like they have little shower ring or the hooks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then there's the elephant ring hooks or something that you bundle. Brilliant. With that. There's even a floor mat if you want to make a $45 bundle out of something that everyone else is selling for, you know, $25 for just the curtain. But then you get the hooks, the the floor mat, all these other things that would cost you 70 bucks. Um, you're selling it for 40, makes it a no brainer offer. Yeah, unbelievable. That's amazing, dude. Well, you know what? I, I feel like people, they're just like, man, this is this is a lot. But man, I had never knew. I never knew how crazy this business could be and how and how this is actually something I can take advantage of right now. So what we're going to do right now is I want to tell you about, well, I'm not going to actually, Lucas, uh, the number one <laughs> secret for ranking to the front page for your category but before we reveal this number one secret, we just wanted to remind you about a couple amazing Spanish, Spanish special <laughs> bonus gifts uh, that we're actually going to be doing just for our podcast listeners. So first of all, um, let me tell you what, for Dropify, for anyone that is not using Dropify right now, uh, the private label on demand plan where you're able to spin up really unlimited number of custom label designs to tailor make uh, these products for these very, very, very tight niches. Um, we are going to be giving you, instead of this $2,500 per year program, we're going to be giving it to you for $197 per month. There's no minimum commitments. It literally is month for month. You're going to get access to the platform as well. You're also going to get access. We're going to be giving you $2,500 of bonus gifts. And that is going to be a hundred, over a hundred different label designs. So if you suck at design and if that's something that's really stressing you out, well, we're going to be giving you over a hundred different label design templates that our internal design team has already created for you. And again, if you want to use them, go for it. If not, and you just want to use them for inspiration, that's fine too. Uh, then all you're going to do is going to take it, you're going to design it yourself, which is what we're going to teach you in our training. Or you can just, you know, flip it up to, you know, places like Fiverr, Upwork, 99 Designs for like five bucks, six bucks, and they're going to come back ex with exactly what you want, which is great. So we're going to throw that in. The second thing is Supplement Traffic Secrets Mini Course. Now, this is not something that you're using directly for Amazon, but what you can do is these uh, secrets and this Traffic Secrets Mini Course is going to show you what the top performing native ad platforms are to help you drive traffic 
to things like your e-commerce store, your web, like your, your online store that you're going to be selling things with, which then you can connect to Amazon and it's going to help you drive sales organically to Amazon. This is all something that Luke and I are going to be putting together, which is super, super exciting. But we're going to give you access to that secret um, uh, supplements traffic secret mini course so that you can learn how to do it off of Amazon. Luke's going to tell you how to do it in Amazon with his amazing special offer for you. But just want to let you know that down below, you can go ahead and access that amazing, amazing Dropify deal, as well as Luke's amazing offer, which he's going to tell you about right now. Yeah, so honestly... I mean, I've taken a handful of courses out there in my day with Amazon FBA. There's $2,000 courses, there's $2,500 courses. And I've had so many people come to my course after buying these high ticket ones, thinking that they were going to get some crazy special treatment. When in reality, the people literally, like in one case, one of the guys, he had a $2,500 course and he just said, you know, I don't talk to you. I won't answer any of your questions until you're in my higher tier, which is like a $10,000 thing. So it's just this crazy money level thing. I mean, I charge the same price as the first course I ever bought, which is way, way lower than any of these other courses, like one fifth the price. And it's still going to come with, you know, you can message me at any time with any of the mm. questions you have. I'm open to your, any question you guys have there on Instagram personally for me to get back to you. And it's not virtual assistance. It's literally me getting back to you. So maybe we can even link my Instagram down below if people have other sure. questions, something like that. Um, but other than that, it's, you know, you're, you're going to have the course, you're going to have the Facebook group, which is every student that's in there is able to ask questions there. And it's such a great community because so many yeah. other students get back to the questions before I even get to them. I literally just updated my entire course. It's a 10 hour course. I, okay, broken down every little step. You don't need to know one simple thing. You don't never had to sell an <laughs> online before in your entire life. I just break it down step by step. Mm. I rewatched the entire course just last month. Um, actually, it was two months ago. I rewatched the whole thing. It took me two months, but I went in and literally fine tuned every single video because I just didn't want anyone to have to hardly ask any questions. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the easier it is for you to understand this thing the less questions you have to ask me and the less work it's going to be for both of us. So revamp the entire thing there, fully updated for, you know, 2021, everything up into even the little restricted, you know, you can't sell or you can't list over 200, ship yeah. in over 200 units right now. Every little thing, yeah. problems constantly updated, sharing it in the Facebook group, all that's updated. But I want to give you guys, uh, I literally don't even have a coupon for this because I never really do coupons because the course is already extremely mm -hmm. low price compared to what else else is out there. You know, the first cor course I ever bought was four ninety seven, so that's yeah. exactly yeah. what I priced mine at too. I just thought it was a cool cool price to get your skin yeah. in the game and stuff like that. <laughs> but I want to throw you guys like an extra hundred bucks off or something like that. Wow. So I'll have a whole, yeah. So I mean, I'm literally hardly making money on that. I mean. It is, it is straight profit with that. But when you think about the work I put into helping sure. you guys, answering your guys' questions in comparison to how much profit I'll be making on Amazon every day. I mean, I make anywhere between 300 to 500 bucks a day profit on Amazon with just automated products. I only have like eight or nine products in there right now. Um, and just building up the whole YouTube thing was a whole nother business with the course alongside the Amazon business, mm -hmm. which is a whole nother thing in itself. So you know, that's maybe why I didn't dive full into Amazon to have like a thousand products right now. You know, right. I'm happy making 10 to 15 grand a month in profit on Amazon. That's right. fine. Yeah. With me. Yeah. Um, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, honestly, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm wow. happy to do like a big, you know, like hundred bucks off and that's 20% off the entire price. So literally so $400 to get everything you you need so so let me let me just make sure i'm i'm reiterating re reiterating this for folks because i mean this is a hugely generous offer right and like, i've never heard of this before outside of like maybe a udemy or, or something like that you know where they kind of give you a little bit and that's it but mm -hmm. so instead of your your regular 497 rate which already is a massive discount because based off of what's in the course 
you're really getting like probably five times the content and the value at a fifth of the cost, which is huge. And I definitely would recommend, by the way, maybe doubling or tripling your cost because it's definitely worth it. Uh, but after the people sign up for this amazing offer. <laughs> so the, uh, the next thing though, is that you're gonna be giving that for 20% off. So it's gonna be only 397. And for that, not only are you getting probably about 25 to $3,000 worth of content and attention, but you're also gonna be able to have Luke directly. So not a VA. And you're going to be able to have an entire student private Facebook group where not only are you able to ask questions directly to Luke, who's the master, but you can actually talk to his students that are literally doing the exact same thing that he's doing following his model, which means that someone there is going to have the exact same experience that you're having just getting started. And it sounds like they're getting to it way faster than you, not because you're slow, but because they're that passionate and they're that united. So you're getting the group, you're getting the program, and you're getting Luke all for 397 bucks. Guys, this is massive. And so if you want that and you're serious about getting into Amazon and you want to actually figure out how you can get Dropify connected with Amazon, not only are you going to be able to do that by the private label on demand plan, but you're also able to learn how to do that properly because it's way more than just product. We're providing the product. Luke is providing the strategy. And this is a really, really insane offer. Luke, I just want to thank you so much uh, for being on the show. Is it all right? Uh, and by the way, all the offers are going to be down below so you can just click and get access to it and it'll be all there. Um, let's talk about this last point, the number one secret for ranking to the first page, to the front page for your category in Amazon. Let's hear it. Okay. So I did mention, you know, have a couple of people buy your product under the keyword you want to rank for. Now in the beginning, I'll tell you, I was on page 36 when I started a new product. I had five people buy it in a short period of time in maybe one or two days. I spaced it out morning, noon, nighttime, and then the next day, morning and noon. And by the third day, this was a while ago, but it definitely still works. I use it with all my new product launches. My students still do it. I went from page 36 to page three. And then after that, a few more sales under that keyword, I was on page one for another super crazy saturated product. It's the posture corrector. That wow. was a competitive freaking product back in the day. Even now it's like impossible. I wouldn't even try and get into it now, but I mean, just getting sales under the keywords you want to rank for is huge. Now, now there's a little method where you can go up in the URL. It will say page equals two mm -hmm. or something. You have to be on page two for it to work. It will say page equals two in the URL. You can just change the page equals two to page equals 36. And then you can tell your friends to do that or something. And then that'll jump right to page 36 where your product will be at. That's after you've like clicked through all the pages to see where you're showing up when you first start. Yeah you're like, wow, we're already back here. So uh, you have to have people buy it on that page. And that's like, as if, you know, you went through your customer searched through and bought you from that page. That's obviously telling Amazon, well, we're going to shoot that product way up to the front because no one's even clicking into page five to buy products. So you're already shooting up to like page three, where that's where usually people will at the most, you know, stop searching for your product kind of thing. Sure. But what's even easier than that is you just type in helium 10 gems. There's, I have a YouTube video on this and all that stuff as well, but you can create a special URL for your product. You just put in your product ASIN, which mm -hmm. is your product identifier inside of Amazon. And then the keyword you want to rank for it. That, those are the two things you need. And then helium 10 will make you the special U URL. So no one has to jump back to that page. It's just, you click on that URL, it'll show the keyword in the search bar and just your product there. So you send, you send that to people, you put that on your, your advertising, or if you ever are running Facebook ads to it, or you made an Instagram, you have that link in your bio, people keep cl clicking on that ad or on that link, making sales under it, you're going to do the same thing, rank to page one for whatever keywords you want within a handful of sales, you know, 10 sales. It depends on how competitive the market is, but that's what I do. And then I get Holy up there. Cow. I combine that with using good PPC strategy to right. show up for more keywords. And that's my launch strategy right there. I love it. And you know what, what we'll do is I'll put actually that YouTube down below as well in the, in Luke's bio. And that way, if, uh, if you're ever interested in, and once you kind of jump into his program, I mean, he's going to have that already, but if you want to learn more about that strategy, cause you're like, Oh my gosh, I need to just, <laughs> I need to just digest what I just heard in this. And then I got to take that next. Um, then you'll be able to see that below as well. Um, yeah, go ahead, Luke. Yeah. One more thing is I just wanted to tell you guys, like 
I, I make a decent amount of money on Amazon, but honestly, some of my students have literally like blown my numbers out of the water. I have a guy doing 15,000, 14,000 a day in sales at more, like a 60% profit margin. It's Holy. like, I'm like, he's making seven grand a day. And his video will be, if you click on my course page and just, yeah. I have, you know, the video at the top is going to just break down what, what's all in the course, all that. I have every title of each video that you're going to be getting into. Um, in the course curriculum at the bottom. So it shows you how long each video is, the titles, the six modules broken down, you know, creating mindset, you're setting up your business, products, suppliers, listing optimization, and product launching with ads and all that, creating an Instagram, I even go into that. Um, but then there's videos with my other, I highlighted a few, few student successes there. Brian Pate also worked with me at Joey's, thought I was crazy back when I told him I'm going to do this Amazon thing. And then he bought my course and is one of the hardest workers I know right now. And he, he bought a yacht. Like he has, he had an wow. investor. He has an investor with him and we were out on boat trips like all summer long because he bought my course for 500 bucks and literally turned it into insane amounts of money. So, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's amazing. And Luke, man, thank you so much. It's such a privilege to have you on the show here. I'm super excited uh, for folks to be able to get to know you better, um, to jump into your course, to jump into Amazon, see how lucrative it can be for their existing businesses or even new businesses, because it sounds like that you, you're all encompassing, which is great. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited for the joint strategy for Dropify and uh, and your course to be able to help people just take it to a whole nother level that no one's even done before. So um, thank you so much, man, for being on the show. Uh, thank you everyone as well who is actually listening today. And for tuning in with us uh, and guys be sure to join us on the next episode thanks so much thanks guys hello again ecom masters mike was here again with a big thank you for sticking with us to the end of this episode i know how valuable your time is and i want to congratulate you for setting yourself apart from the pack by investing your attention into this podcast. Now make sure to maximize this time by taking notes while it's still fresh, <laughs> listening to the episode multiple times if you need to, and implementing what you have learned right away into your own business. Now, if you're looking for a little bit more training and want to learn the step-by-step -step methodology that you need to build the e-com business of your dreams, I want you to join me for an exclusive invite only training that I'm only giving specifically for podcast listeners. Now in it, we're going to share the secrets of what we've used to scale Dropify into the 2019 5,000 number 55 fastest growing company in America. You will not find this information anywhere else guaranteed to get immediate 100% free access. All you got to do is go to dropify.com forward slash podcast dash special or just click the link below and in the show notes and I will see you on the other side.